Hello, I've been asked many times how AppSense Application Manager can help with Microsoft device licensing on Citrix and Terminal server farms. So I'll put together a quick uh, video to show you in its rawest format how it works. So here I've got my Windows 2012 R2 server and we're just going to fire up the AppSense Application Manager console. I'm using version 8 but this is the same for pretty much any version of AppSense Application Manager that's out there. Now the premise of Microsoft device licensing goes as follows. If you have a terminal server, a multi-user server or a Citrix server type environment that has let's say 2000 users that can connect through endpoints and you wish to put Microsoft products on there such as Office, Visio or Project, then you must buy 2000 licenses, i.e. you must buy 2000 connecting device licenses. Now unfortunately, nine times out of ten you won't have two thousand people wanting to use it you might just have a hundred people wanting to use the excel application for financing but according to the rules of microsoft you must buy two thousand licenses because they're the connecting devices that's their device licensing rule absence application manager is the only product that i'm aware of that allows you to only license the devices that you actually need and this is authorized by Microsoft. So you basically name your 100 finance users and allow them to run Excel and you only need to buy 100 copies of the Microsoft product. So I'm gonna quickly show you how that works. So basically, I'm just going to come in and I'm gonna open up uh, a config that I've created before. So I'm just gonna import in, and this is my device licensing example. And I'm gonna minimize this down and go through some of the stages. So the first thing we want to do is decide whether or not we will actually want to utilize the AppSense Application Manager built-in security using trusted ownership. The ownership, trusted ownership that blocks unauthorized applications. Now in my case here, I don't actually want to do that. I just want to use this purely for device licensing purposes. So I go into trusted owners under global settings and I disable the trusted ownership checking. So effectively I'm switching AppSense off in terms of its core functionality. If you want the core functionality, then leave this set, which is done by default. The next thing I need to do is I need to deny access to all of the Microsoft applications to everybody at the kernel level using the AppSense kernel driver. And to do that, I'm going to go prohibited and I list the Microsoft products. This blocks everyone from using them. So that is your block all, which is what makes Microsoft happy. The next stage then is to allow and create a whitelist for the Microsoft applications and you need to do it by devices. So the simplest way is to go into your device rules, add a device rule, we'll give this a name and we call this MS Licensing. And now in the client device section here, we can now add in our devices. And uh, we can do it by host name or IP, but we'll call this WinTest01. So that's the machine name and the important part is here we need to change the connecting device type as connecting device. So this is the endpoint connecting into the Citrix server. If it was set to computer it would be the Citrix server you're on. So it's this one we want. And I can add in anything else in here I want. 168.1.2 for example and again change that to connecting device. So now we've got block all device licensing to allow these particular devices and now we can go accessible add-in file win word.exe and all of the other applications so in this case i may have 2000 users connected to my farm but i have prohibited the office applications for everybody and only allowed it for two devices therefore i need to buy two licenses and that in its rawest format is how to do it I'm going to show you a smarter way of doing it as well because of this config could be quite um, hard to maintain if you having to open the config save it each time that you want to add or remove device names for Microsoft licensing especially in a large organization where turnover of people can be quite high so we're going to make use of a scripted rule in absence and a scripted rule basically I've called this one MS device licensing effectively is a script that runs and it returns true or false. This script is quite simple. If we click to edit the script here, all we're doing 
is we are reading a notepad document, a text file. And this basically contains one column and in that column is the device end point device name followed by new line. And it's just a straight list of the devices that I want to run the Microsoft products. And I've got it stored on my NAS drive here. I basically get the client name from the actual Citrix session. I then read the text file and I return true if the client name is in that file. A very simple script. And this is in VB script. And of course you could do this in PowerShell script or in later versions in J script. So this is going to return true or false. True if the device is in the notepad file, false if it's not. And if it's true, again, we're accessible WinWord Excel PowerPoint. We can now tailor this a little bit more instead of the standard absence error box that will appear, access denied. What we'll do is we'll go into global settings and we'll go into message settings. It takes a few seconds to open up and here it is. And now we can start to tailor the message box that appears. We can put in our own logos, anything. The access denied message is the one I'm interested in. And here I've got Microsoft Office license error. This device sent client name is not authorized to run Microsoft Office on Citrix. Please contact your support desk with some telephone numbers. You can change the height, the width, totally configurable how you want it. And I can even see what the message box will look like. So that is in its simplest format how to use Microsoft, uh, AppSense Application Manager to control MS device licensing. If you'd like any further information, please call us on, at SAPICON. Um, we'll be more than happy to give further demonstrations, help you purchase software, configurations, setup, on-site and training. Thank you very much.